Mm. Mm. Damn. Good morning, friends. Mark Holmes here with my buddy Cowboy Joe Boo. And as always, thank you guys for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report without you guys, man. This does not work. Let's get open for business and let's wake up the football gods here to, ooh, you know, what I call this segment is don't sleep on the Dallas Cowboys because you literally cannot sleep on the Dallas Cowboys because things happen late in the evening, late at night, first thing in the morning. So you need to be up to speed with all that is America's team. And if you're just waking up, uh, if you weren't up at 3.48 this morning, um, Zeke Elliott is now signed. And it seems like Simba is happy as can be running around like a crazy dog. Zeke Elliott has signed an extension six years, $90 million. Um, I don't have the details yet, but Zeke is going to be eating and Simba is happy. You can hear him panting and running around, right, Simba? Um, this is huge. Uh, the biggest richest contract for a running back ever i mean ever um what the dallas cowboys have been doing which is different than anybody else now understand but basically this contract goes through 2026. the dallas cowboys have been doing a lot longer contracts than anybody else and for the most part when you look at say a tyron smith's contract tyron smith when he was signed to his deal Look, everybody is like literally blowing up. Everybody is just like sending me message uh, after message here. I got up, made my coffee, took the dogs to the bathroom so that way, you know, you can take care of his crap. And it's like, I know, I know, I know. I'm trying to get to it, guys. I'm trying to get to it. But when Tyron Smith signed his deal, everybody was like, a $97 million deal? Oh, my God. Are you kidding me? Well, by stretching it out, it gives you flexibility. You can do restructuring and things with that contract, which they have done twice with Tyron Smith. Because before, the Dallas Cowboys would end the season being about $20, $25 million over the cap every year and need money to sign the players um, on their team, sign the rookie class, and if they're going to try and get any free agents. This Dallas Cowboys team has gotten out of that cap hell largely due to the fact that you had Dak Prescott not making quarterback compensation like everybody else. We were able to still pay Tony Romo uh, $9 million and $10 million back-to-back uh, -back years and absorb those cap hits because he was not making big quarterback money. And as we see last night, the quarterback compensation is still going up with Jared Goff getting $110 million guaranteed. You know, some of these contracts that these guys are making, they're going to look back and be like, damn, we're screwed like the Washington Redskins with Alex Smith, they're still paying Alex Smith 20 some million dollars this year and 20 some million dollars next year. But the reality is, is in the NFL, you gotta roll the dice because you gotta have a quarterback. Without a doubt, have a quarterback. So what does this mean? That means that today they'll do the big uh, signing for Zeke Elliott. Uh, he'll be at practice today and he'll be ready to play for the Giants. And FYI, Somebody commented and said, why the hell do you have a New York Giant helmet on your desk? Are you a Giant fan? Yeah. What that is, is a giant cockroach with a giant helmet on coming out the toilet. Yeah. That's my fandom. Whew. Wow. Wow. They got this thing done. So much for the Dallas Cowboys not resetting the market. Remember we heard that? We offered a fair contract. And this is always like deja vu. And I'm trying to understand why it ends up being this way every time we got a big contract. Think back to DeMarcus Lawrence. DeMarcus Lawrence, you know, they came back and said, oh, we thought we were going to get a deal for about $18 million a year and things. And this is more than what we thought, yada, yada, yada. And it ends up being that they still paid him a $105 million contract. Although, partially that's in name only. Really what it was was a two-year extension because of the guaranteed money. We'll find out how much money is actually guaranteed on this deal and how it breaks down. Now, Zeke Elliott's cap hit number 
Let me actually, let me see if I pull it up real quick. Um, it's actually like seven and a half million. Um, what the talking heads will tell you, that's wrong. What the talking heads will tell you is, um, that another piece of the pie is gone. That's less money for Dak Prescott. They're seeking, they're basically sending the message to Dak Prescott. We're not going to pay you. And nothing can be further than the truth. Because what the Cowboys, um, why am I getting the wrong one? So I apologize, guys. I should have had this, but I'm literally waking up and out here. Um, the reality is the way the Dallas Cowboys do contracts is that first year is usually a very soft hit. And more of the money is actually kicked out and spread out over the length of the time of the contract. So that gives them more flexibility on this season. So when they redid Lyle Collins, which I think was a precursor to getting Dak Prescott's deal done, and I would expect that Dak's going to be done um, sooner than later as well. All right, let's look at the Cowboys. Um, that Zeke Elliott, who's currently got a $7.5 million, I believe, um, cap hit, Okay, here we go. Let's take a look at the numbers here. So as we look at it, <clears throat> currently Zeke Elliott's uh, cap number is almost $8 million. Okay? Lyle Collins yesterday's cap number was 9.5. But as we go down and look at it, um, Lyle Collins' cap hit number went down to 4.2. So if the Cowboys do like they typically do with Zeke's contract, and even, you know, here's where it's even crazier how they do these. Um, where's Jalen Smith? Jalen Smith, take a look. Right here. They redid his deal, and look at how what his cap number is for this year. 2.56. So what they're probably doing, because technically it's really eight years that they have him under contract. Doesn't mean he's going to be here playing for eight years, but they'll end up using that first year of Zeke's contract, which is four point, um, four, four million dollars, roughly. And they'll end up prorating the bonus and stuff, and they'll make, might change this to like a million dollars or something like that for this year. And I bet you this cap number goes down, giving them more cap room. So it'll be interesting to see how it all breaks down and stuff. But getting him into the fold is really important. So this now brings up the question of, since you've got him for this length of time, how much of that money is guaranteed? Which means is how long do you really have to have him? In my mind, you look at Zeke Elliott as a generational back who can do a lot of things. He can block for your quarterback and keep him clean. He can catch out of the backfield. He can take the game over but that doesn't mean you want to use him every time it's like having an afterburner you know that afterburner on that jet that gets you flying through there but the problem is is if you use that afterburner too much you run out of gas so we got to be careful that we don't run Zeke into the ground just because we said we got him under contract we want him to have a career like Emmett Smith where he is part of multiple Super Bowls and so that's where you start looking at it and saying you know what we don't want to kill him in every single game some games we're going to need more than others other games hey we got this in the bag let's get some experience with Tony Pollard out there let's make sure we got that afterburner ready when we need to take off when we need to go into battle in the playoffs and things so let's hope that this offense with Kellen Moore is a little bit more dynamic where we're using the passing and the running. Now, an interesting statistic. Ooh, actually, two. Do you realize that the NFL leading passer in a year has never won the Super Bowl? And the NFL leading rusher has only won the Super Bowl four times. Terrell Davis and Emmett Smith. So it's about being balanced. 
and this is where the Dallas Cowboys, yeah, you could win with just Zeke running the football. But you got to understand, we need to keep defenses guessing. And if we are balanced, it's going to make it that much easier for Zeke to run because he's not facing eight-man bo- eight boxes all the time. And that's where coaching comes in. I'm excited, guys. I can't believe that tomorrow, one day, 12 hours, 38 minutes, and 50 seconds, we kick off the season. And come Saturday, I'll be in Big D. we got all kinds of stuff that's planned. I hope you guys will subscribe. We'll be part of it. Uh, we're going to be hooking up with Law and Nation. We'll be seeing him and stuff uh, Saturday. Um, I believe even at the game Sunday. <clears throat> um, we're going to be hanging out uh, with Cowboys Experience. We'll be at Latina. And if you want more information um, about the event, as well as ticket packages, go to CowboysExperience.com and tell them that Mark Holmes and the Joe Boo Sports Report sent you. Whew, I can't wait. I just can't wait. I'll see you guys real soon.